Okay, back to Hermann Oberth. Oberth's interest in rocketry was sparked in grade school when he read Jules Verne's From the Earth to the Moon, a book which he recalled reading five or six times. The young Oberth at that point discovered many of Verne's calculations were not simply fiction and that the very notion of interplanetary travel was not as fantastic as had been assumed by the scientific community. By 14 years old, he envisioned a liquid-fueled rocket and he continued to teach himself the mathematics he'd need to make space travel possible. In 1923, he wrote a 92-page work called Die Rakete zu den Planetenraumen, The Rocket into Planetary Space. Then, in 1929, he expanded the work into a 400-page book named Wege zur Raumschiffert, Ways to Spaceflight. Also in 1929, Oberth finally got an opportunity to static fire his liquid-fueled rocket motor. It ran briefly, which was good, since it didn't have a cooling system. Oberth, the father, or one of the fathers, of rocket science, was definitely a visionary. At one time, he expressed that he had made a conscious choice not to pursue his doctorate. He wrote, never mind, I will prove that I am able to become a greater scientist than some of you, even without the title of doctor. My favorite quote of his was him saying, our educational system is like an automobile which has strong rear lights, brightly illuminating the past, but looking forward, things are barely discernible. Hey, Alien Institute crew, don't forget to strike the like, subscribe, comment, and share. Also, continue learning by watching more AI videos.